Assalamu alaikum and good greetings. In this video, we will focus on Daniel 7 verse 13 and 14. Why? Because in the previous video, when I share my view upon what Nabil Qureshi have stated, which is based on this verse, I have received four different comments that highlighted this, uh, this, this particular verse to show that I should understand this verse to show that Jesus is God. Basically, that's the conclusion from this particular verse. So, let's take a look at the comment. Okay, this is one comment by Talima Thiu. Hopefully, that is close enough. So, this is the verse. Daniel, specifically 7, 13, 14. Right? So, uh, we'll highlight the comment first. Uh, second, this is by Andrew Visser. And this is Daniel 7, 13, 14. KJV. And this is by Paglimonicat. Paglimonicat. Um, so yeah, Daniel 7, 13, 14. While this is another by EW. Uh, you can read again. So Daniel 13 and then followed by 14. So this verse is said to, you know, highlight that Jesus is God. Basically the conclusion. And this is about the Son of Man and the description. We will not go about to see the book of Daniel, I'm not sure who write it, uh, about who actually is the one that have this vision, I, I, I don't know. Uh, we'll just see the text and whether I can understand Christian's view that this show that Jesus is God. So that's basically my standpoint on commenting about this verse. Let's go. Alright, so this is um, the first comment that we have shown just now. Uh, Daniel, specifically 7, 13, 14. I was watching in the night visions and lo, as it were a son of man, so this is the son of man, coming with the clouds of heaven. And he come as far as ancient of days and was presented to him. And to him was given the dominion and the honor and the kingship. And all people's tribes, languages shall be subject him. Okay. I'm not sure whether the, the language, this is old language or something. His authority is an everlasting authority which will not pass away and his kingship will not be destroyed. Okay, so that's um, this, the verse. But I think I noticed uh, some differences. Okay, um, overall, it's saying the same thing except for, I think here it says that um, all the people will be subject him. Okay, that's what he said here. Um, and the kingdom, and that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. So here it, um, they serve him. While here, um, here, all nations and people of every language worshipped him. So this, this, I think this is different version or translation of the Bible, right? Worshipped him. While here. Uh, and people of every language worshipped him. So there's two comments that comes from a version that you know stated um, worship him, one stated um, serve him, and one sub stated subject him or subject to him. I think. Now uh, in the video by Nabil Qureshi, I think he he mentioned serve him, serve him, and that's why he actually talked about. What, what do I understand about, about, about this serving him? Is it just serving like in, in the restaurant or something? And he said, no, it's a different kind of serve that is um, uh, reserved to divine or God or something, right? Hence, it, so I think that's where it's related to worship, I think. I'm not sure what's the original language. If you translate that original language um, to English, whether it would be serve or subject or worship, I don't know. Uh, I'm interested to know and I'm interested whether, you know, all these four commenters know which is, uh, you know, literal translation. And of course, if you want to say that, well, contextual translation, it would be something like worship, etc. You can argue that point regardless. All right. So I'll take a look at this one and we go along, right? So um, I'm assuming the author of Daniel, because this is quote, quotation, right? So I'm not sure. The author of Daniel actually quoted a story by someone or this is Daniel actually having this night vision. I'm not sure. Uh, but someone have this vision. So he should be like um, 
a prophet or something, right? Uh, where you have a vision that can be taken as a, a, a core to your belief. And there before me was one like a son of man. Okay, so he saw a son of man. I'm not sure what this means. When he said that it is like a son of man, what does that mean? Uh, does it mean that it, it, it appear to be human? And I think Nabil Qureshi stated that implies as such in the video, right? He said that it, 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 it appears to be human uh, in, in form, hence uh, it seems like a son of man. Um, but I'm not sure, uh, especially those four that commented here. If you understand this differently, feel free to share, right? Coming with the clouds of heaven. He approached the Ancient of Days. I'm not sure what does this mean. Does it go back to time or something? And was led into his presence. Also, I do not know. Okay, he was given authority. So this is my comment when I first heard this verse. When uh, Nabil Qureshi quoted this verse, he said, He was given authority, glory, and sovereign power. Who give who give the son of man this authority glory and sovereign power and they was given him and to him was given right so that's my number one issue okay so meaning someone with authority with the full authority have given him authority have given him glory and have given him sovereign power so that's number one meaning that it is not his it is not his own but he was given Right? Just like any messenger has been given something or any human being or any creation have been given something, a limited amount of whatever, right? So, so that's number one. Um, in my mind, I don't, uh, I don't see this, the son of man, initially, uh, if we have read until this point, uh, to be possibly... God himself. Okay, let me clarify. When I say God in this discussion, I mean the creator, the creator himself. I do not mean anything else that is worship, etc. I do not mean anything else that is, you know, part of the divine, for example, anyone who believes there are multiple divine things. I'm just, when I say God, I'm here referring to the, the creator, the creator of all of, you know, that ex exists, the, the creator of the universe, that creator. So, because that creator is the one that have the full authority, full power, full glory, etc. So, when this son of man is being given these three things, I would assume the creator is the one that given these three things to the son of man. Okay? And all nations and people of every language worshipped him. Right? So, now, um, in the other translation, it is serve him. And it was argued that that serve is kind of serving that is, um, I think, reserved for the divine or something. I'm not sure. Um, so feel free to, you know, educate me on why this different um, translation, why worship is here while um, serve it here. Right. Um, and I would think, because just with, with those, those words, uh, it is really different in level of divine ship, if you want to say that, even if you believe in multiple divine things, right? Um, yeah, okay. His dominion is everlasting, okay, etc. Right? So, I, uh, from the reading, this is part of what is being given, but um, it, is, it is there, part of what is being given to him, right? So, um, if you want to say that um, with his given authority, people will worship him, right? Because if I, 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 I read this part, right? He was given authority, glory, and uh, power. All nations and people of uh, every language worshipped him. So this is in the past tense. Is it? He was given and all worshipped him so this is past tense and not future tense is it shall subject to him mm, okay this have a different implication right what about this one should 
should serve him okay that's different okay so all of this this translation have different implication because here because this this verse indicate that uh, the one that you're sh seeing right now indicate that people should be sh serving him that should be serving him okay this is similar meaning that uh, it's uh, the implication is we if we are part of all people etc should be serving or subject to him maybe we choose to serve maybe we should uh, sh uh, we choose not to serve but we should serve and if you do not you are in the wrong something like that that's the implication while here it is something it is as if it has happened before right and now i, I don't think it's still valid then because now every people is worshiping worshiping different things so uh, how do you understand this verse what about this one worshiped him as well so what what is the correct understanding whether it is implication the implication is uh, something have happened um the son of man have meaning this is something that has happened in the past i guess the son of man on the clouds uh okay what what which verse is the one that i think is it is the continuation right where uh he sit on the right hand of god etc right so that's even more convincing to me to say that it is something beside God rather than God himself. Is it uh, in Daniel after meaning verse 15, etc.? Uh, feel free to educate me as well. But that was when uh, Nabil Qureshi actually quoted that portion as well. Hence, uh, to me, it is very, very clear from the verse that the Son of Man is something. Even if you want to indicate that this verse uh, make that Son of Man divine, it is something divine other than God himself because God gave him something and he have the right to sit at the, uh, at the right hand of God etc 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 right so are you saying that's God himself that doesn't make sense in terms of uh, literature right another thing that I just noticed here I didn't notice there because Nabil Qureshi didn't give different um, you know conflicting translation but thank you for these four commenters um, I noticed this four conflicting translation what which which one is it is it meaning that uh, God have given power, authority, etc. That we, the implication is we should be serving Him, uh, and hence everyone who haven't done so is in the wrong. Is it that, or it is something that have happened some in in some time in the past uh, that have happened? Uh, God have given Him authority, etc. And every people, all nations, all people of every language on this earth have worshipped Him once upon a time. And if that is the case, when it and when was it? Obviously, now, um, starting from the time of Jesus until now, uh, Jesus on earth, of course, until now, there's no time that you can say that all um, nations, people of every language have been unified in worshipping the same thing. The son of, uh, in this case, the Son of Man, right? So, which one is it? And yeah, that's it um, for this video, I think. Uh, thank you for you know i i really appreciate all of you that commented this um to educate me to teach me on your religion and your belief on your scripture and uh, yeah i i really want to learn more in this case which translation is more valid uh which understanding or implication of the verse is more valid and uh, yeah what do you think about you know he is he do not have from the beginning the authority he was given the authority so what happened next even if you want to say that uh, you know he should be served um, still not because he is the creator but he is being given that authority by the creator but how do you understand that meaning that god have given relinquish his or he share his authority with another thing the son of man and uh, we now no longer to need to worship God because the right to be worshipped is being passed down to the Son of Man or we should worship both God and the Son of Man or how is it? Um, interested to know? Feel free to comment and thank you for watching. See you next time.